my dear friend, Merry Christmas. From my family to your family, I wish you the merriest, happiest Christmas ever in your whole lifetime, including as a child. Betsy Jacobson once wrote this. It's called A Spirit for All Seasons. The Christmas spirit, you've heard it said, no matter how you rue it, is here today and gone tomorrow, and that is all there is to it. Why is this so? Why must it go? Why can't it stay forever? It can. And it will, but it takes some skill along with strong endeavor. We ought to practice joy each day, the loving and the giving, and cultivate the gentle art of grateful hearts in living. The grateful heart, an important part. We need to have it to live it. It's not that God requires our thanks. It's we who need to give it. In Luke 2.11, it says, To you is born this day a Savior. Well, this is a time of preparation, a time of waiting, a time of wonder. A lonely shepherd on a hillside doing ordinary tasks suddenly surrounded by light and song, hearing the angels proclaiming the peace to the world. A wise man on the way, following the star, not knowing as of yet its meaning or its destination, but with a sure awareness that something great and wonderful is taking place. You make room in your heart for the Christ child. You prepare in your heart to receive the Christ, the Son of God, the light of the world. This is a time of dreams. It is a time of angels, a a time of faith, a time of wonder, a time of waiting, a blessed time. A time when your dear ones seem more near. A time when love hovers over all. In Luke 2 verse 9 it says, The glory of the Lord shone around them. Well, I pray that this is the kind of Christmas that will be remembered forever. The kind of Christmas you make it. For Christmas starts in your heart. You think about the birth of Jesus and you relive its wonder, its beauty, and its meaning. And you feel anew the birth of the Christ within you. You accept the gift of the Christ child. and You know that this gift is also given to persons everywhere of all religions. You feel blessed this Christmas season, and you give your blessing to all. Even everyday things and happenings take on new and delightful meanings as you meet each day with joy and peace and expectancy. As you give the gift that is most important, the gift of yourself. You give of your love. You give of your faith. You give of your understanding. You give in the little ways that mean so much. Perhaps just a nod, a smile, a word of praise. This is the kind of Christmas that you will make it. And you're going to make this Christmas a Christmas to remember. I pray to everyone watching this, to all the people I know, and if I haven't met you, I send forth a blessing to you. 
that God will bless your Christmas season.